You're not going to believe what just happened. I just went into the uh, toilet and I catch someone in my corner of my eye, like a few urinals away, just staring at me, right? If I compare to Japan and then others, it's, it's so different. Mm. Oh my God. That is so good. All right, we're going to attempt to cross here without taking anyone's eyes out. I've never been so excited to cross a road. Oh, no way. This is the spot. What on earth? That is so... Coming to Japan has always been on my bucket list. This, in fact, was not the perfect time in my life to come here. However, the opportunity arose. I knew I had to grasp it with both hands. Otherwise, in the future, I would regret that I didn't. Ladies and gents, welcome back to the Oli Barrett Raw channel. We are here day three in sunny Tokyo. How about that? If you haven't seen my first video, go back to uh, the channel and watch it. It was our first and second day here. Very eventful. A lot of little problems going on, but we, we overcame all of them. That's what happens when uh, you're in a new country and you're exploring, particularly solo. Some construction going on in the back here. I hope you can hear me clear and well. Today's a very special day, ladies and gents, because um, my friends will be joining me. Well, my one friend and his uncle. Uh, it's a very spontaneous uh, trip we have going on here. Uh, it's going to be me, Connor, my American friend that I met whilst I was living in the Philippines in Manila, and uh, his uncle, uh, who lives in the States, but he's flying over to meet his nephew. So it's, uh, it's going to be good fun today. We are headed over to the uh, Sensoji Temple, but not before we uh, grab some breakfast, some tissues, and something else from the supermarket, which slips my mind right now. What a day to be alive. It's sunny once again. Might have to bang the shades on in a minute. I managed to get out a little bit earlier today. It's 9.30. Yesterday, I wasn't out before 10, so that's, uh, that's progress. Got myself a good sleep. Not been feeling so good from the old uh, travel um, and cold weather, you know, change of climate. Travel usually gets me sick, but uh, I have been uh, bolstering up my immune system recently with some fruit, getting those vitamins down me, so hopefully my body can overcome this little thing I've got going on. We are fortunate enough to be able to walk over to our first destination of the day, as it is about 20 minutes slash one kilometer from my hostel, um, I'm staying in Ueno Station, a little bit of a quieter part of town up in the northeast of Tokyo. Um, so yeah, I'm happy to be walking when it's sunny weather. Don't need to be indoors anymore in boxes, in metros. We've done that yesterday. So the more walking, the better. Just some guy making sure his house is all clean. Good morning. I need to learn how to say good morning in Japanese. The first supermarket we've seen here in Japan. We've been into a bunch of convenience stores. We have not been into a supermarket yet. I'm hoping to find some fruit, some coffee, and something for breakfast. Pineapple, that's a good start. Fruit is very expensive here though. That's like almost $4. I suppose it is quite big. I might have to get one of these. We shall have a look around first, see what we can find and then Maybe we will come back. Well, it's a very, uh, very similar supermarket as to what we would usually go to back home. Yeah, this is the one. This is what we need. Is it? No, 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 not tampons. We're not looking for tampons. Although I have been a bit grumpy lately, so maybe that was why. Oh, we have finally found them. Hooray. Can I go to hip hip hooray? Now my nose is gonna be happy. Wow, that's really cheap. $1.50 for all of those. Maybe it's not the right, oh my God, it is. Oh, I can't carry all those around though. That's too many. Are they tissues? Plus water. I don't really need water in my tissues. It's going to make them slightly harder to use. 
Oh, once again, I think I might need to just get them from the convenience store. Look how big the packets are. Oh, I just can't walk around with that all day. So I'm going to have to get them from the convenience store. We shall find some breakfast, coffee and tissues very soon. <clears throat> Hopefully we have more success um, in the convenience store. But I do want to check out upstairs. I do want to, I do want to see what upstairs has got to offer. Maybe we'll pick up that fruit as well. Okay, upstairs is the 18 plus section by the looks of it with lots of alcohol. Let's see what the price of the alcohol is. So you got all these singular beers, look. 135, it's like at $1. So 150 to the dollar. Wow, very reasonable. Very reasonable. If you had this before, this is good. Lemon dough, I believe. Yeah, this is good, try this. Dollar. Baby food, we've got no babies. Sweets, I'm always drawn in by the sweets section. Have been since I was about four years old. Harry bows are expensive, makes sense, German imports. But other stuff, again, pretty similar to elsewhere. These look good. Oh, very soft. Oh, tempting. Okay, no, let's stick to fruit. So after all of that, the only thing we're gonna get is pineapple. The only trouble is, my mouth is a little bit acidic already, so I'm not sure how I'm gonna react to this pineapple. Mm, okay, we shall, uh, we shall get the pineapple. I really need some fruit. Let's pay the lady. Hello. Yeah, one, one, one dollar fifty. That's not bad at all, actually, is it? That's about the same as what it would be in the UK. Okay, let's head to 7-Eleven, uh, try and get something out of the bakery, and uh, get some tissues, and maybe a coffee as well. God, if we could get all three, that would be amazing. Okay, we are in 7-Eleven. Let's see what there is. We've got stick cakes. They look a little bit plain though. We've got chocolate coating donuts, sugar coating donuts, banana chocolate muffin. Oh, they're not messing around here, are they? This is what I had yesterday. Um, I won't get it again. It was too sweet. It tastes good, but it's too sweet for me. Pancakes with maple syrup and margarine. Okay, it's already in there, I guess. Cream bun. Oh wow, they've, they've got a lot of options. Mini chocolate croissants. Could I eat those? Could I eat all those? I think I probably could. Yeah, go on. We'll get the mini chocolate croissants, won't we? What are these? Condensed milk cream. Chocolate stick. Well, a lot of uh, interesting goodies. We shall settle on the. Uh, Mini chocolate croissants. What else did I need? Oh yeah, tissues. <laughs> of course. Um, here, no. Likely to be pocket tissues. Here we go. Soft, flushable. Still got six packs. Wow. Okay. Which ones are better? High quality facial tissues, one, four, two, that's a dollar. Happy days. God, all these little things that I, I thought were gonna be like, very expensive here. You know, in the UK, like you can't really get just little things like this for so cheap. Actually, these would be cheap, but tissues, quite expensive. Hello. Oh. Okay. Oh, and I would like a coffee, please. Oh, I have choices. 
I will get a black coffee. Black? Yes. Hot. Hot, yeah. Black. Yes, uh, la small one, small one. Small one. Yeah. Okay. I love these little self-serve machines they have going on. So cool. Okay, arigato. <laughs> Thank you. We're going to put this over there. And we're going to take the coffee. And we're going to get our tissues out because I'm in dire need of these. Oh dear. I've dropped, I've dropped one on the floor. It's not what I was intending to do. We have got everything we need. Coffee, breakfast, pineapple, healthy times. We've got our breakfast. All came to about two dollars, two, three dollars. Absolute bargain. We're bargain hunting here in Tokyo. We're gonna be fueled up to go to the Sensoji Temple. Come on! I wonder if this man will let me use his uh, area as a table. I hope he doesn't get mad about it because I really need somewhere to eat. Okay, taste test on the croissants. Oh my God, you know what it tastes like? Chocolate croissant. Unreal. I'm over exaggerating, but they're like actually quite decent. Bang those in the pocket like that. So hopefully we've got our hands free. Let's do it. We're already about 10 minutes into this video. We haven't got to our first destination yet. But I hope, I do hope you're enjoying it. Oh my God, I can see some kind of like theme park ride. What's going on there? Well, it's all going on around here. We've walked into a bit of a hotspot. Oh, that's it, we're in Asakuta. Wow, this is pretty cool. This is where my friend is gonna be staying. Wow. We are absolutely making headway towards Sensoji. Mm. This is the theme park, look. God, who would have thought? people pouring into a little theme park at 10am. This looks like a little school trip out. It's so cute when you hear other kids speaking in uh, what to you is a foreign language. Because it kind of sounds like Japanese, but toddler version, <laughs> you know. Here we are, just like that. I wonder if we have to get a ticket, isn't it? but there's been a bit of a theme here in uh, Japan so far, but they have not been charging for the uh, tourist destinations, which is really nice. <sighs> Gonna have to wet my sun sunglasses on in a minute because it is getting rather, rather sunny. It's kind of hard to do this whilst I'm uh, walking around with a coffee in my hand. But we move. I can hear some like deep hum coming from the temple. So there must have some kind of uh, ritual being performed or something. We'll have our sunglasses on in a minute. There we go. Ladies and gents, we're about to walk into the Sensoji. I think we are. I can hardly contain my excitement. And I am genuine, I know it doesn't sound like it. <laughs> wow, there's some seriously strong aromas going on in the Sensoji. Everyone's tossing coins into the big uh, 
into the big walk. I wonder who goes and collects all the money at the end of the day in there. <laughs> give you a look at the Sensoji from a distance. Wow. Buddhist temple. God, that humming is giving me the chills. Oh, wow. Look around, ladies and gents. This is pretty special. Please do not stay here and proceed into hall for worship. Okay. Some kind of worshipping going on. Wow. Whoa. It's producing a very strong aroma, that is. <laughs> I'm going to get involved. I've got, I've got to get some of this air. This is like the lucky air. <laughs> I've got to get some of that lucky air. Wow. Look at that. Like, look at that. That is a structure and a half, isn't it? Oh, and that pagoda over there. My... I'm right in the middle here, aren't I? Give you a little spin around. What is crazy to me is like the lack of security presence around these areas. I've never seen a country with such a, you know, it, few police around these kind of touristy, sorry, not touristy, ancient monuments that have become tourist places. I feel like this is the, the final, this is the final bus. I was supposed to walk here last, but I came from a different direction. Something I'm really thinking is nice about here as well, right, is they have lots of areas to sit around the places where there are a lot of people. I know that seems like rocket science to put places to sit around these areas. It's not. But most countries, they don't do it. Don't know why. Japan, all the tourist places, they have lots of nice areas to sit where people can relax and look at the monuments. Incredible stuff. That's what, that's what you want to see. Sensoji completed it, mate. Right. We're now headed over to a place that's not too far. Six minute walk. Sumida River Park. As uh, the Sensoji Temple is very close to the river, the Sumida River. And there's a beautiful park right next to it with a view over the Asakusa skyline. So uh, we are going to head there now and check that out. Of all my kilometers walked around Tokyo, I think this is the first time I've come across a school. Oh my God, that girl is on riding a unicycle. That's so impressive. She must be about 10. She's riding a unicycle. That is quite shocking to me. The school playground is literally totally open to the street. Once again, that just tells you a lot about Japan and how safe it is. Look at that. They're just... They're probably like five or six years old. I've never seen anywhere where the playground is that open to, to the public for, for kids of such a young age. That's pretty wild. That's really cool. I mean, it's cool if there's, you know, nothing happens, but I suppose it does leave it a little bit vulnerable to, you know, potential bad actors. Samida River Park, ladies and gents. Once again, absolutely smashing stuff. We're going to have a walk all the way along here. Wow. Tokyo is a fabulous city. The Asakusa skyline. The seagulls. The water looks pretty clean for a river. The blue sky. What more can you ask for, honestly? Absolutely beautiful stuff. It must be a really, really nice city to live in. Like, the lifestyle 
must be really nice. Because there seems to be sports facilities, there's a lot of nature around. What a place. Oh, the, even, even the cherry blossom is starting to come on the trees, look. Some of them, some of them are blossoming slightly early. Wow. There are not many public toilets around that I've noticed anyway, but there are some, so that's good enough. And we're about to use one. Pretty clean again. I mean, not absolutely spotless, but you can't get much better than this for public toilets. There's not even a bad smell. It doesn't even smell bad. Okay. I'm not going to let you watch. Bye-bye. I'm going to fight this battle on my own. Let's see what happens when I put this on. Oh, there you go. There you go. Now you can see the, uh, the nice blue sky behind me. Fantastic. Just having a walk along uh, the riverside here. I see that the local bird feeder has come. Look at them all. Look at them all flocking to him. <laughs> so many. They know him well. They've seen him before. No doubt about it. Look at them all go over there now. <laughs> Fighting for it. Oh, check this out. Sitting here with this view on a Monday morning. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh, oh my God. Remind me of your name again. Mim. Mim. M -I -M okay. M -I -M -U, Mim. And you're, you're, you're Japanese? Yeah, I'm, I'm Japanese. But you've lived in a lot of places, you tell me. Yeah, I was a uh, little grew up in Hawaii Island. So, uh, uh, when I was an elementary uh, student, uh, my, my family was decided to live in uh, you know, the Hawaii. Uh -huh. And that was so... I guess they had some work prospects or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. That was, that, was, that was absolutely so beautiful and amazing place to, to see a lot of scenery in Hawaii Island. It's interesting to me because like, I didn't start traveling until I was 21. Yeah. I, I'd been on a couple of holidays elsewhere, mm -hmm. but I left the UK when I was 21 yeah. and moved to China. And mm -hmm. that's when my perspective really started to open up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but when I was your age, you know, mm -hmm. I hadn't really traveled. So you know, I can tell you're very different from yeah. when I was 16. Mm -hmm. and I've also met a couple of other kids who have had similar situations to yeah, you, yeah, yeah. and it seems like just being in different places mm -hmm. um, whilst you're growing up is so valuable. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. To, to be so, I like Japan, but because I was I was born in Japan in 2007, but 2007. Yeah, 2007. Wow. But uh, yeah, it 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 it's absolutely so beautiful uh, places, but my dream is living in different country again. So okay. yeah. It's kind of different opinion I have. If I compare to Japan and the others, it's it's so different. You know, like compared to Japan and China, so different as well. Sure. And yeah, I think I'm uh, I think it's so interesting. But uh, my my real dad is is South Korean Brazilian, so I have a South Korean as well. But you know, uh, South Korean Brazilian. Yeah, South Korean Brazilian. So you've got Brazilian, Korean. Hawaii, uh, Hawaiian and Japanese. And Japanese. Yeah. Okay. Wow. And you know, <laughs> so pretty much uh, yeah, from yeah, all yeah. over the world. Yeah. But the Japanese genes have come out pretty strong. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I felt <laughs> it's well, usually yeah. the way, right? Like yeah. the, the the Asian genes are so strong. Like mm -hmm. anyone who's even ten percent Asian looks looks Asian. Yeah, looks Asian. Yeah. yeah. So I'm looks Asian as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's amazing, man. Yeah. I I appreciate Mim a lot because. Um, it's something I've wanted to do is to be able to just go up to people and talk to them on the street. And the fact that you are able to do that so confidently at 16, I commend you for that, brother. I think that's, yeah. that's really cool.
Uh, usually, my English knowledge is more better, but I'm I'm really getting nervous. So no, I, I can I'm, tell. I'm it's sorry. okay. Don't yeah, worry, I'm mate. Really you 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 done really well. <laughs> I, I, I know what it's like. You know, when you're first on camera, I've just put you completely on the yeah. spotlight here. So don't worry, brother. You've come across very well. I'm sure everyone <laughs> in the comments is going to enjoy <laughs> your story. Anyway, bring it in. Yeah. Cheers, man. I appreciate you coming to talk to me, Thank and you. Uh, I can learn a lesson from you for sure. What a legend. I've just spoken with him for like way over an hour. What a nice kid. He came up to me and he just said, oh, are you filming? And I, I spoke to him and he kind of opened up to me a bit. And, you know, after a while, he even said, you've changed my life. And, you know, to hear that is kind of touching. Um, he was talking about his struggles as a 16 year old being, uh, you know, so international. He's grown up uh, in Hawaii, uh, looking Japanese, but he's part Korean, part Brazilian, part Japanese. And now he's living here through high school. Um, and he was just talking about his struggles. And yeah, I really empathize with him. Um, he doesn't really feel like he fits in anywhere because of the, the different cultures. And I think this is something that all mixed race people must really feel a lot. And it reminded me of a kid I met in China, 16 years old as well at that time, two years ago. So he must be 18 now called Richard. Uh, similar story, you know, part, part Australian, part Chinese, had brown hair, you know, so as a kid, he looks different to all the other kids. And he had a similar story. Um, and he was talking about, you know, he doesn't, he loves Tokyo as a place and obviously he's from here. So it has a place in his heart, but he really wants to move abroad because the lifestyle here is very intense and it's not really what he's been used to growing up in Hawaii, um, which definitely makes sense. Bless him, man, bless him. Okay, we're on the way to Asakusa Station where we will be meeting our friend Connor. Cheeky bloke he is. Thinks I'm his chauffeur or something, doesn't he? He ain't gonna be doing very well trying to catch anyone on there, is he? I can see my friend over there. He's not prepared. He's, he hasn't even got a suitcase. He doesn't know how to travel. <laughs> oh, he hasn't even got a suitcase. You are so unprepared. How are we? Good to see you, man. Good, Good to see you. Bring it in. Got the camera in your face already. Perfect. <laughs> You're so excited to be on YouTube. I already know it. What are we going to eat? Soba. Soba noodles. I had soba noodles yesterday. We're going to have them again now. And we've obviously come across the spot because there are about 20 people outside waiting at lunchtime on a Monday. I've never seen anything like that. That is actually nuts. Wow, okay. The good thing here is like, you know, this is considered fast food. So they are in and out quite quickly. So I don't imagine it would take too long, but then again, there's still 20 people in the queue, so what are you saying? Okay, let's keep walking, let's keep walking. <laughs> a little trip to Lawson, and we've got ourselves a snack that I have never had before, but Connor tells me this is the best snack in Japan. These snacks, don't know what it's called. It's called, I'm not even gonna try. It's kind of some kind of ice cream waffle thing. Oh, it's good, yeah. Mm -hmm. I was quite light as well. I was expecting it to be like real dense. I'm very pleasantly surprised with the price of all the snacks in the convenience store. Everything's pretty affordable. I was expecting all the little things to be very expensive. Everything's a dollar. Everything's a dollar. Anyway, I might get another one of these, however, there are about 150 different snacks to choose from, so maybe I'll try something else next time. 
So this is just like a, what, a regular butcher on the side of the street. It's actually the first one I've seen. And look at these like absolute prime cuts. This has got to be like some Wagyu stuff, huh? 100 grams, 4,200 yen. What, what's a regular steak? Like 200 grams, right? That is an expensive piece of steak. Wow. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I didn't see that. That's so strange. What? Okay, well, we're not filming anymore. My American friend, Connor, of course. Can't wait to get some chicken nuggets. No, uh, there's a... Chicken nuggets? Is that what they are? Chicken poppers? It's the spicy chili chicken bites. Spicy chili at chicken the mini bites. Stop. If you see the mini stop in Tokyo, you've got to go in. You heard it here first. It's like $2. Happy days. We're going to get some, uh, we're waiting for, we're waiting for George Connor's uncle to arrive. So we shall get a meal together later. However, now our stomachs need feeding with some uh, spicy chili chicken bites. <laughs> you, got, you look so funny with the hood up. I've never seen you like that. Oh yeah. Let's go through here. Why not? A little, uh, hutong clothes market. What? What's going on with these? Looks like a gum. Really? Looks like for 300 bucks you can have yourself a pistol. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, what? What? Are these actual? So that is an actual firearm. That's a 44 Magnum right there, sir. Oh my word, I've never seen a Magnum in... Real life. You know why it's got the reputation. It's huge. I, I use them on the game and I had no idea they were that big. That's like a submachine gun. I'm just like confused. If you had to, if you had to choose one out of all of these, to like that you would want to own or that would personify you, or I, for me, I, I it's like something in these in the white. Yeah, no, no. It's got to like I already know. It's got to be one of these. So I just like the. I just like the. I don't know why. Yeah, that's that's of, definitely what appeals like to mafioso. me. So I think I like. I think I like this. That's a mafia gun right there. Yeah, just like one-handed. <laughs> even like this. Yeah, this that's is like a, a like, sawn-off magnum. That's probably more of my style. So we're just looking at these uh, football shirts up here, and yeah, they have got big price tags on them. Twelve thousand yen. How much is that? Like, almost a hundred dollars. These these. Supposedly must be real. These ones, 1,000. Okay, these ones must be fake. It is a about two hours after we mentioned about the uh, spicy chicken bites. We've literally been looking for them for two hours. <laughs> we, we've walked four miles looking for the spicy bites. Why? But we found them. We also found the cheese in. <laughs> Unbelievable stuff. What are these ones? Is this what we're getting? Okay, the moment you have all been waiting for. The moment we have been waiting for for hours. Okay. <laughs> They're no joke. <laughs> they are really good. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> they are really good. Yeah, no. It's really unbelievable. Oh, there, yeah, they are great. Dollar fifty. And I feel like it's actual chicken. It's not like. Let's get a look inside. Any good? That's that fresh white. Yeah, yeah, you there. Can, yeah. You can see the fresh. That's real chicken. That's real chicken. It's not that like. Oh my god. They're actually really good. <laughs> I'm gonna get these again. <laughs> we uh, seem to be running into a bit of a problem here in uh, Japan, big problem. The snacks all look a little bit too good, so it's a bit overwhelming at what to choose, and uh, I am frozen in terror at which option to take. Look at these. And uh, we were just saying, everything is like kept between the 150 and 200 yen kind of price tag, and sized accordingly for one serving, which is Kind of a good way to do it. I mean, like the perfect amount. right? There's like eight of these. I mean, if you think in the in the West, in the U.S. especially, everything is massive pack. Kind of encourages overeating. 
they have even more hot snack options. Look at this. Boneless, chicken, spicy. These are perfect little snacks. Are these onion rings? Something? Spring roll with 10 ingredients. Read that, 10. 10 ingredients. I know, I know, I was showing people those earlier. I mean, there's a lot of like good options. I see people pouring in the hostel with these. Oh yeah. These run out to 7-Eleven, grab a... Two, three bucks. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, these are nice. These chicken bites look good. Oh my God. Little sushi stuff. See, stuff like this, like in in uh, Vietnam, I'm, I'm, I'm not going near it. Yeah. But here, cool. I mean, I won't be eating this fruit sandwich. That's one thing for sure. I will not be having that. But I'm sure for people who like fruit on sandwiches, it's great. <laughs> that looks okay. I think they probably have something a bit different about the bread, though. The bread looks kind of strange. They like. They've cut the. Uh, yeah. They've cut the crusts off. That's exactly how I would have requested it when I was six years old. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mom, please cut the crusts off. I don't like the crusts. My mum used to tell me, it's kind of a, a thing in, in the UK. My, my grandparents and my mum would tell me, uh, if you don't eat the crusts, you're gonna lose your hair. Did you not eat the crusts? <laughs> no, I did eat the crust, so I guess I'd have even less. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's uh, saved you a few years. Saved, yeah. We're, ho we're holding on. Okay, right. We've had two visits now into Ministop. I think we are ready to ready to go. George, we're coming for you. This looks like a cool spot. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Go for it. Okay, thank you. Yeah, it's such a... We were just talking about like the aesthetic of everywhere. Wow. It's cool. Should we go in the, in the booth or should we sit here? I can do the counter. Sure. Do the real deal. Yeah, okay. No machine? No machine. No machine. We've graduated. <laughs> Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> Legend. <laughs> okay, here we go. Very good. Oh, very good. Oishi. Where's Oishi here? Oishi is delicious. As it was the first time I was meeting Connor's uncle, I didn't want to stick the camera in his face too much, so I didn't record too much from the dinner, but we had a lovely time in that little local restaurant that's the perfect kind of place where you've got one geezer and just like 10 seats max and he's just super attentive we're gonna head back to the hotel now it's about nine o'clock and uh, we're gonna be signing out until tomorrow it's day three here in tokyo today's weather is not holding up so much it's supposed to rain this afternoon so we're out at 10 16. we've got some guinness world record holding green tea which we are going to be smashing because it's high in vitamins. And you can probably hear in my voice why that is necessary. Not feeling too good today, but let's try and put that past us and have a good day. Right, right, we're headed into Ueno Station. You're not gonna believe what's just happened. I just went into the uh, toilet in the metro station here. And, uh, you know, I'm doing my thing in the urinal and I catch someone in my corner of my eye, like a few urinals away, just staring at me, right? So obviously I can't relieve myself. I'm, I'm, I've got stage fright. The guy moves, right? I, th I thought he's leaving. I'm like, thank God. Someone turns up next to me. It's the same guy. He's literally just moved to this one. And he's like this. So I had to throw him an insult because I wasn't very happy about that. And he ran away. Christ, that's the second time that's ever happened to me in my life. I mean, people get curious, yeah, I get it. But come on, man, it's a private space. Can't be doing things like that. We've picked up a coffee from uh, a convenience store, $1.
but I've already showed that in uh, the previous video, so I won't show it again. Now, we are at Tamod's. Hopefully, going to get some vitamins and uh, some cold relief tablets. Hello, please could you help me? Um, I'm looking for some cold relief. Okay. <laughs> I am I am looking for some cold oh hold on. I am looking for some cold relief tablets and maybe some vitamins. Okay, thank you. Uh, mostly nose and throat. No, head is okay. Mostly nose, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, thank you. Okay, I try. I try first. Okay, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Hi. Very good to Bye bye. Hi. I actually don't really know what this is, but hopefully this is going to sort us out. Japanese medicine is supposed to be pretty good, so. Hopefully it's the right thing as well. I have no idea. They were actually a little bit expensive, uh, more than I was hoping, but it's okay. Nothing is more valuable than our first trip in Japan, so anything to get me feeling better. And now it's started to rain. Oh, dearie me. When's it going to end? <laughs> okay, Shinjuku Park, here we come. Before we go to Shinjuku Gardens, I need to eat. It's 12 o'clock. I haven't eaten a single thing yet. Um, I've just found this... I just typed in chicken katsu because I can't actually think of what to eat. I've, I've been eating noodles for the past like few meals. Um, and it's a little bit daunting when you like want to just walk into a random restaurant. Like there's a lot of uh, restaurants around, but it's a little bit hard to find out what they actually serve or what it is. Um, and also the price ranges massively. So there's some you'll go into that'll be like, you know, a few dollars for a meal, and then few are hundreds uh, of dollars for a meal. So I really don't know which one to go into sometimes. So my best bet is looking on Google Maps, which I've just done for a uh, restaurant. So we're gonna be headed to a chicken katsu one. I do love chicken katsu and it's cold. So a hot curry sounds great. Coco Ichibanya. I love the names, they're so great. There's only one thing I would change in Japan so far, and that is to have more public trash bins, because there are hardly any around. It seems you have to go into a shop or into a mall to be able to find a bin, yet the streets are totally clear. That's what I don't really get. Okay, Coco Ichibanya. This is where we're gonna be eating. Well, it's busy, it's very busy. So how does this work? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Oh, well, this is a very popular lunch restaurant. be my first time here so you'll have to bear with me I guess I order off here do I yeah okay one adult no children language oh my god they even have English that is perfect this is great when it's uh, cold outside this is exactly what you want vegetable curry with them yeah that sounds good I need some vegetables. Really reasonable prices as well. There's literally like no interactions with anyone here. 
Like everyone's just in their own little booth. You don't even need to talk to the lady to order your food. It's kind of uh, mixed feelings about that. It's good for me because I can't speak Japanese, but I think if I was in my own country, I'd feel a little bit different about it. We're gonna go for this one. Wow, look at all these options. Regular spiced. You can even get less rice and make it cheaper. That's so weird. Salad and drink set. Okay, let's get salad and drink set. I need as much salad and vitamins as I can get. Okay, we're finished. Start ordering. 1,300. It's about $10. Okay, place order. Wow, just like that. Hello. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I got the animals. Uh, yes, please. Thank you. Bye. Okay. It's raining. Fully. I do want to do Shinjuku Park, but it doesn't seem like such a good idea in the rain. There you go. Just like that, we're in. I'm guessing this park must require a huge amount of maintenance and that's why they have to charge people to come in. I mean, it's not too pricey, it's about $3. I'm sure this is gonna be worth $3. So I'm not too concerned about it. These are the, the parts that I do enjoy about solo travel is the walks alone in the park, things like that. However, there are some parts of solo travel which are not so great because it can be a little bit lonely at times. You wanna share the experience with somebody. That's why it's been really nice for my, uh, my friend to get here. Um, but I'm also missing my girlfriend at the same time who's back in Vietnam, wasn't able to uh, join me on this trip for reasons I won't go into. They really just have this standard of perfection here in Japan. Everything is done the way it ought to be done. Me and my friend have posed ourselves a little challenge to try to figure out if there's anything they could actually do better. And <laughs> I've really been thinking about it as I'm going about my day to day. The only thing I've found so far is more rubbish bins. <laughs> but, you know, that's hardly a, a method of doing something. But pretty much everything else is, is just so well thought out and it's exactly how it's supposed to be, you know. The finish on the curbs, you know, it's, it's just perfect. It's exactly how it's supposed to be. And I, I, I don't... I don't remember once seeing an unturned cobble or a pothole in the road. No, because if there was, I'm sure they would come and fix it right away. It just makes me a little bit sad about the current state of affairs in my own country and many countries around the world. Why is more money not being poured into making things how they ought to be, you know? Instead, they spend it all on military budget or foreign affairs or, you know, look inwards first. I wonder if the Japanese really understand this about their own country because, you know, they've lived here. They, this is their culture. This is so normal to them. If there's any, you know, locals watching this video, please let me know. I feel like you guys must be a little bit disappointed when you travel abroad. <laughs> you know, maybe you have this sort of fantas fanta what's the word? fantasy idea about other countries. Or, and then when you go, you must kind of be hit with the reality of like, oh, maybe it makes you appreciate Japan even more. But yeah, that is a, a really amazing thing about travel. It does open your eyes as to see how other countries do things, how other governments, 
you know, set up their systems and you can learn something from it. I just, I, I just can't help but think every country could learn a thing or two about Japan's way of doing things and, you know, striving for perfection. I'm sure it has its cons as well. The work environment seems to be a little intense. You know, there are a lot of people in my hostel that come in and check in at like 10 p.m. Middle-aged locals. And, uh, you know, they've obviously had to work overtime at work and they haven't got time to go home and see their ki kids that day. And they have to stay in a hostel nearby and back into work the next day. Like to me, growing up in our culture, that's, that's, uh, that's tough, you know. I can't imagine that. Oh my word. Wow. So many places where you have this like new and, and, and old backdrop, you know. Look at that. Just look at that. You know, what value can you attach to just having this within a 20, 30 minute metro ride? Anytime you're a little bit too stressed or, you know, having a difficult time, you can come to a park like this. And this is one of many, like this is not, this is not the only one here in Tokyo. There are so many, like, let me show you. So this is Shinjuku National Garden. Here we've got another one right next to it. Bam, central Tokyo, Imperial Palace, another huge park. Ueno, where my station is, another huge park. Like, they really put an emphasis on keeping the nature nestled in amongst the city, even though people are living in very small boxes because Tokyo is so urbanized. They're even like paying people to move out of Tokyo, but still they will not demolish these areas to build. And I just think that is wonderful. Check these fish out. I'm not actually sure what type of fish they are, but they're huge. Living in this lake. <laughs> they're looking up at me, thinking I'm gonna drop some food. Sorry, I don't have any. We're exiting the park. We're gonna be headed over to one of the other hot spots here in Tokyo, which is Shibuya. Shibuya is where the famous crosswalk is that millions of people pass over every single day. So, uh, yes, but I will not show you the metro as we have already done that multiple times, so. Oh no, it's raining harder now. Oh, disaster. Oh dear. I think I'm gonna have to head into this mall for a second to go to the toilet and to get out of this rain. Oh, you really feel cold when you come out. <laughs> Woo. Game Taito Station. I have no idea. I wasn't expecting to come here, but we've got to check it out. Oh, you have to pay an entrance fee to get in, do you? So, right now is a Tuesday, 3 p.m. So this gives you an idea about how popular these arcades really are. And they're huge. Honestly, the array of games is crazy. Oh, these lads just got away. Oh, this is like a whole 
horse race betting area. Oh my god, and it's actually fake. They're not real horse races. What? Oh, well, look at this guy, this guy's in front. It's 3 o'clock. This guy's studio here with a shirt, jacket, trousers on. Probably like a lunch break from the ship, maybe? He's at the arcade running up to set a high school. They're all serious games. Oh my word, I've just seen, look at these. It's phone holders, so they're people who live stream it. They have played that a fair few times. Very good, so cool. <laughs> Legend. We've come upstairs. The game station absolutely does not end there. This place is absolutely monstrous. All I wish is that I was 14 again, walking through here. I mean, even now, I'm just bamboozled. Let alone if I was that age. I literally would have been so excited to be in here. Okay, we found the exit. I bet those arcades get full when, uh, when it starts raining. Like now. Oh, it's a bit miserable outside right now. God, it's raining pre pretty heavy. Yikes. Shibuya Crossing. Now this is absolutely off peak time, raining at 3 p.m. on a Tuesday. So this is probably one of the fewest amount of people you're gonna see crossing. And yeah, even then, there's a lot of people. Let's just stand here and, and have a look. Hopefully this gives you a, an interesting perspective With all the umbrellas. Wow. The music behind is real funky as well. It kind of fits it. Oh man. We're walking right across the middle with a selfie stick. Let's see if we can not knock anyone in the head. <laughs> We're going to. We are going to. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> After the madness of Shibuya Crossing that's just over here, we're going to head into Shibuya Mark City, the mall that is right next to the crossing. Mostly just to get out of the rain, but, you know, we haven't really explored it around a mall yet so let's have a little look here's a upmarket bakery here in japan let's have a look in here i bet there's some nice goodies in here oh yeah look at that sweet caramelized croissant that looks absolutely gorgeous i might have to get one oh god yeah i'm just in my uh in my element in here my word, breadsticks, co breadsticks coated with honey and, sh honey and sugar. Oh my God, I can't talk. <laughs> Look at the state of this. Oh yeah. This is the real stuff. Um, I've already decided. My eyes were straight on this. Sweet caramelized croissant, are you joking? As if I'm not gonna buy that. Let's get like, one of these darker ones. Oh yeah, hear that crunch. Don't know if you can hear it. It's light, it's crispy. That's all I'm gonna get. 
otherwise I'll end up buying far too much. Oh. Hello. 3.13. Oh, okay. Oh, I don't know if I have enough in... Okay, I think I need a note. <laughs> you think I have enough there? One. Oh, two. Three. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. Whoa, that nearly fell. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, one, two, three. And then... I feel like a child. <laughs> Thank you so much. There you go. Thank you. Bye. I'm going to enjoy this. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. That is so good. Oh, it's another arcade. Oh, Pachinko. <laughs> It's a pachinko store. I haven't been in a pachinko store yet. I want to have a look. So this is the uh, Japanese version of gambling, so I hear. I'm not actually sure what pachinko is. Apparently it's very popular with the old folks, but... Wow. You just hear that noise. Don't tell me there's a load more down here. Don't tell me. Oh yeah, there is. These are the hardcore gamers down here. Oh no way. This guy's got a Red Bull. Pachinko is one of the most familiar forms of amusement for the Japanese people. With easy accessibility and high amusement value, Pachinko is a favorite pastime for the Japanese people and attracts more enthusiasts than other leisure activities such as sports, sightseeing, outdoor amusement activities and hobbies. There's actually nothing like this in the UK, especially where you find like a lot of middle-aged and older people playing it. Very interesting. Smoking room. This is the beauty of Tokyo, like, I didn't even mean to run into this place, neither did I mean to run into most of the cool things I've seen here. You just have to just walk around and see what happens. That is, uh, Pretty wild. There's another floor upstairs, so there must be even more out there. It's like a diff it's like its own little world, right? It really is. Don't tell me that's a whole other building doing it. It is. This is a whole different building, full of the same. Wow, it's really popular. What? I'm quite taken aback by how many machines are there and how many people are playing it at 3.56 on a Tuesday afternoon. Okay, I've been recommended to go to Mega Don Quijote store because apparently this department store has absolutely everything you could imagine here in Japan. So uh, let's go check it out. Right, this is just getting silly now. Tokyo Food Show. I thought I was not going to get the camera out again until I got to uh, see my friends. But look at this place. This is all like top drawer bakery products and gourmet foods and I need to uh, look at that, that looks so good. Oh, I could spend so much money here on food. <laughs> look at this. And just the style of the place makes you want to come in. Gourmet foods, look, oh goodness me. 
charcuterie shops and cheese shops. Oh my word, look at this cheese shop. Look, oh no. Oh, everything looks so good. What's the kind of price of cheese we're looking at? Is it expensive? I would imagine it's expensive. Let's see this. Whoa, 2,300. That's more than $20. Look at these massive half quarter wheels of cheese, look. Crazy. <laughs> Hello. Incredible, what's this? What on earth is that? It looks sticky. It looks like matcha, matcha flavor, something sticky. I have no idea. Oh, this is, <laughs> my mouth is like watering walking around here. Deep fried prawn. There's a queue for this stuff. What's this? Fried rice or something. Oh, it's like, uh, I, I really don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to figure it out, guys. Give me a break. Look at this. What's this? Okay, we've got a little sushi palette here. 1,100. Wow, that's not bad. That's about seven or eight dollars. It's not bad at all. Oh, look at this round here. Oh, they really know how to present stuff, don't they? To make it look appealing. What, what are we talking then for, for a little a little thing like that? Wow, really good price. That's like three dollars. What about for the tuna one? Wow, it's only like, yeah, three dollars fifty. That's really good, actually. I was expecting it to be a lot more than that. What about for this one? Looks like real good cut of sushi. It's time. It's time to do another bucket list thing. We're on the way to a very, very special location. A little homely sushi restaurant. <laughs> it's gonna be my first sushi experience in Japan. Come on. This is gonna be great. Can't lie, I'm getting a little bit wrecked here in the rain. It is what it is though. My spirits are not down one bit because we're literally on the way to eat sushi made by a proper sushi chef here in Tokyo. That is really something. When the restaurant is down streets like this, that's when you know. That's when you know you're going to the right place. My word, it's absolutely chucking it down. I am wet, I am cold, but I am excited. Okay, okay, we're here. Oh, no way, this is the spot. This is the spot, man. Wow. Okay, how do we go in? Hello. Three. Wow. One. Uh, my friends, three of us, three. they come maybe five minutes. Three. Oh, this will be my first time in Japan, eat sushi. Oh. Excited. <laughs> <laughs> my friends come last year, they say it's great. So we're coming back. Okay, where should I sit? Okay. Wow. A proper homely experience. <laughs> this is exactly what you're looking for when you uh, come to Japan for sushi, a little intimate place like this. Beautiful. How many years have you been making sushi? Uh, 100 years. My, my job. How many years you make sushi? Uh, my, uh, 14. Oh, wow. Okay. My, my shop, 100 years. 100 years. 100 years, you hear that? 
Good stuff. Really good stuff. <laughs> hello, hello. Hi. How are you? Uh, yep, yeah, no problem. Perfect. Okay. Japan first time? Japan first time, sushi first time. <laughs> Today I go to uh, Shinjuku Garden. Shinjuku? The, the garden as well. So nice, really, really nice. Hotel, hotel, Shinjuku? Hotel. Yeah, no, my, my hotel is close to here. Mm. Yeah. We stayed in uh, Asakusa. Asakusa? Area. Yeah. Mm. So a little quieter. <laughs> Not so busy. Mm. Oh, thank you. Yes, I'm sorry, my Japanese is not so good. <laughs> but maybe I, maybe I will come to live here and I will learn Japanese. <laughs> I would love to live here for a little while. Okay. Hello, gents. Hi. 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 How are you? How are we? How are we? We'll be here sooner, right? Asahi straight from the source. How about that? Mr. Connor, his page. Cheers, gents. Come by. Come by. Yeah, I am paying tonight. That's good. And, uh, you know, I hope. In the future, my generosity. That is incredible. We have ourselves a little appetizer. Looks like a little mac and cheese salad. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, good. Okay. It's coming thick and fast. Oh, yeah, this is the best. There's so much flavor, and you get a lot of flavor. Oh wow. And typically in a sushi place, this tends to be like the cheapest thing you can order and it's like the most oh, yeah? stressful thing, yeah. It almost has, has like a teriyaki yeah. taste to it. Well, I mean, I, I really like it. I worked in Nova Scotia. That's the good stuff right there. Okay, here we really have the, the golden plate. I'm excited for this. Japanese style hunting. Oh, really? Japanese style. Oh. No. The sushi. Mm. Okay. Oh, really? oh, okay. So, so we use the chopsticks to dip, mm. and then. Okay. Okay. No. No. Oh, even dip it with the with the hands. Fish, okay. Fish, let's. Fish side. Like this. Side or fish side. You dip the fish side. Fish is fish side. side. Mm. No, no. Like that. Turn it around, mm. and dip the that. Oh no no no. Sorry. Together. <laughs> all together. All together. Oh, all together. Okay, okay. And, and then, then this. Okay. No no no. Not the fries. The other side. Oh, the okay, 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 okay. <laughs> okay, we got it, we got it. Like this, okay. And then you put it in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> What'd you think? I'm Unbelievable. Try. Thank you. It's the first time I'm ever trying this uh, Japanese omelette. Oh, it's so fluffy. Oh, <laughs> this is so good. I'm genuinely stumped. I, I didn't think it would actually have that much flavor. It's buttery. It's light. It's fluffy. It's, it's the lightest egg you'll ever like. It doesn't feel like you're eating that sort of like scrambled egg. Right. Oh, thank you, thank you. Bye bye. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. No, this is what you had for. Right. That was an absolute experience. 
I enjoyed every second, every bite of that. We're getting absolutely wrecked in this rain. I've got a 20 minute walk, 20 minute walk back to the hostel, but I'm as happy as Larry after that. What a day. Even though we're sick, we made the most of it. Anyway, ladies and gents, thank you for spending your time here on YouTube with me. We shall see you in the next one when we head up to Nazawa Onsen tomorrow for skiing. Let's go. Goodbye. <laughs>